Hi, thank you so much for joining today. If it's your first time, thank you for tuning in. I am hoping that this video is going to bless you. And for those who are returning, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to pray with me. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for your comments. That is so encouraging to me and it lets me know that you're enjoying the videos and that you want more. So I'll get more of those out to you. We are going to be praying for the children today and not just the children, also adults, but specifically we want to pray for guarding our heart and our eyes. So let's get into a couple verses and then we'll pray. In the book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23, it says, above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. And in Psalm chapter 119, verse 36 to 37, it says, Turn my heart towards your statutes and not towards selfish gain. Turn my eyes away from worthless things. Preserve my life according to your word. And so from this, I feel like the two verses are really highlighting how important it is for us to protect and guard ourselves from any kind of harm. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so we need to be guarding from what we see, what we hear, what we are surrounded with so that we can preserve the good things that God has for us. Because from our heart, everything we do, everything that we experience flows from that. And there are things that God says are of great worth, of great value, that the enemy says has no value, and vice versa. And so we need, this, we need the discernment to know the difference. And also, I feel like it's saying that we have to turn to God's word to learn that, to learn how to preserve our life and how to take ourselves away from these selfish things and to the will of God and the heart of God. So let's get into prayer. Father God, I thank you that you are a good, good father. You know exactly what it means to be a parent. You so deeply love the children and I ask God that even today that you would protect the children no matter what they are going through, no matter where they are, no matter who they are around, I ask that you would protect them. I ask that you would protect their heart, protect their mind, whatever they are watching, whatever they are listening to, whether it be through music or movies or any kind of media, I ask that you would guard and protect them, protect their innocence, protect their purity, protect their clarity of mind that there would not be confusion. I ask God, whether it be through friends or adults, whether it be through an academic environment or a social environment or even at home, I ask that you would be mighty to protect these children to keep them safe, to guard their heart, to guard their eyes, and to bring them up in a way that is pleasing to you, in a way that knows the truth and is not confused. I pray that you would protect every adult, that you would give each of us discernment. Help us to know what is truly valuable and what is not, even if the world attaches great value to it. Help us to know the truth, that we may direct our attention and our efforts towards things that are truly valuable and away from things that are of selfish gain or of very little value. I pray, God, that you would protect what we are watching, what we are seeing, what we are hearing, the things that we are experiencing in our life. Protect us so that they do not steal purity or intimacy or fill us with fear or anxiety or worry or hopelessness or despair, that you would protect us from that and that you would also give us a clarity that we would not be in confusion. 
I pray that we would draw near to your word and that we would learn more and more truth, that we would be able to see so clearly the truth from the lie, what is valuable from what is not, from what would try to take our attention from what truly deserves our attention. And I pray, God, that you would just be speaking tenderly to us and be speaking powerfully to us and that we would be making changes in our life in the things that we're watching in the things that we're listening to in the environments and social situations that we are partaking in to guard our heart and that our life is actually improving because of it. I thank you for all that you're doing, God. I thank you for the lives that you are changing. We praise you. We thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.